Lilith has just introduced the new KVK skin called St. Peter's Basilica. But the question is, how does this compare to the current city meta of KVK skins, Twilight Falls? Today, we're going to answer that question. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms video from your very own Shappy Gaming. Today, we are going to be comparing the two best KVK skins, in my humble opinion, and that is Twilight Falls and the brand new St. Peter's Basilica. This skin just came out and a lot of people were asking me, Shappy, is it good? Is it worth it? How does it compare to Twilight Falls? And so I went through and did a testing with my very good friend, Finn, and today, hopefully, we can answer that question. So let's talk about the formatting of what the battles were and how we came to our conclusion. So first things first, we did multiple battles using Guan Yu Scipio as the infantry troop versus Nevsky Joan. The only thing that changed between these battles was the city skin. Nothing else changed. We both had troop frenzy. All of the other things stayed the same. The other thing is, I feel that Nevsky Joan is a great pair to test against because there's really not a lot of randomness that can come from that. So, we started the testing using just the base city skin in order to kind of get a baseline and understand where we are. The other thing I'll call out is this was predominantly focusing on infantry. And the reason for that is that this city skin, St. Peter's Basilica, is an infantry defense skin. And the question that we're trying to answer here is if you're an infantry primary, are you better off with this new skin or are you better off going up with the existing Twilight Falls? And the reason that we approached it with this logic is because if it works for infantry and this particular infantry skin, this may be true for the other troop type specialist skins, such as the Flight of the Heron for archers and the cavalry skin as well. So breaking it down, our very first duel, you can see that I lost, as to be expected, infantry versus cavalry, but it was actually fairly close. And what matters here is if we take a look at the buffs that he's getting, you can see that he's got all the standard buffs. You have infantry attack, infantry defense, and infantry health. And the infantry defense buff here is only 84%. So this gave us a really nice baseline, and I believe we did this for another duel as well, just to make sure that we were seeing fairly consistent results. And as you can see, they're just about the same. There is a little bit of randomness that can happen with Guan skills, but nothing terribly substantial. Now, the other thing I'll call out here is the skill damage bonus of 13%. That skill damage bonus does change when we apply the Twilight Falls skin. And I would think that it would make a substantial difference in terms of the skill damage output that you're seeing. However, we will find out once we get to the actual testing results whether that held out to be correct. So... With that, taking a look, as you can see, we've got a baseline of about 183k power loss on my side, just about, let's see, 26k severely wounded units. So we did this for at least two duels. Let's check the third. And this was our very first duel with the new St. Peter's Basilica city skin. And as you can see, instantly there's a big change. So the damage taken on his end actually went up slightly from the baseline. But if you look at the amount of damage dealt, you can see that it went from about 26K severely wounded all the way up to 28K. And the other thing I'd call out here is this is a dueling scenario. I don't believe we were wearing equipment. In a real battle in which you are in a murder ball, there is going to be a big difference because Guan Yu and Scipio, A, have a high chance of being swarmed, and B, will have an AOE attack, which makes a big difference rather than just the 1v1 dueling testing. However, our goal here was to get a baseline of just comparing these different skins with no other factors. So just keep that in mind. Now, as you can see, he dealt a lot more damage using the defense skin, and my suspicion was Twilight Falls is going to be so much better. Here's another stab at that defense skin. As you can see there, there's that 94 defense. So that's the difference it makes. But if we compare, again, you see some consistency here, but it's not terribly substantial. So taking a look, you see we took 27,400 severely wounded in the second duel. In the first one, we took 28,000. And that's a fairly substantial difference. If you look at the kill point differential, you can see there, there is a pretty large difference between those. 
So we decided to say, hey, you know, how does this actually work once we change to the Twilight Fall skin? So here's the other report with the uh, St. Peter's. As you can see, fairly large differential. Again, I'm taking 27,000 severely wounded or 28, which is at least 1,000 more than the previous one. So we decided to throw on Twilight Falls. And here is where things get really interesting. Twilight Falls, if you guys aren't aware, actually hurts your infantry. So it lowers your infantry attack by 10%, which is part of why we tested the new skin versus Twilight Falls. Because for other commanders or other unit types, the detraction from Twilight Falls doesn't really apply. But if you're an infantry primary, it does make a difference. And this duel told us outright that it absolutely makes a huge difference. As you can see, I won this first duel, and then I lost the second one, but not by much. And we did it a third time, and the results were just about the same. So what this tells me is that despite the change, you are actually losing that attack, and the skill damage bonus that you're gaining, again, this was, I believe, 13% skill damage bonus originally, is not substantial enough to make a difference, at least in a 1v1 battle. What this also means is if you're an infantry primary, you probably don't want to be running Twilight Falls instead of the St. Peter's Basilica. And the reason for that is, again, the swarm-proof nature that you get from the defense buff is going to be more helpful. But in addition to that, what we're seeing is that skill damage buff does not overcompensate for the loss of attack that you're getting with the Twilight Falls. And the skill damage is not making much of a difference. So... I hope this answers any questions you may have. Personally, if I were an infantry primary, I would be going for the new skin. And Twilight Falls generally, I'd say, is great if you're cavalry or if you're archers. If you guys want to see more testing videos like this, let me know in the comment section below. And be sure to hit that subscribe button, bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Thank you all. Shappy out.